look, despite Channel 10 making headlines today, one of the biggest TV hits of 2019 returned to our screens last night and it didn't fail to disappoint. And it was on Channel 10. The Masked Singer launched with a bang with the first celebrity revealed. Take a look at what happened. Love comes down with our devotion. Well, it takes a strong man, baby, but I'm showing you the door. Because I gotta have faith. Ooh, <laughs> What a moment. <laughs> what a moment. And tennis legend Mark Philippoussis joins us now. Mark, welcome to the Ben Robin Robbo Show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Mate, we've all done a bit of karaoke, but this is taking it to a whole new level. Did you enjoy the experience? I did. I did. Look, it was incredibly stressful, but I did enjoy the experience. It was, it was a fantastic experience. Very, very different, obviously, way out of my comfort zone. But I, um, I got a chance to be a rock star for the day and, uh, and I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Mate, there were two things here. On the tennis, uh, I want to say field, that's how sporty I am, you own it and you are so confident. Were you a little nervous doing this? A little. I was so <laughs> nervous. Are you kidding me? I was that, that helmet that the uh, mask came off and sweat just poured out of that thing. I was under the lights and when, when the music starts and just being out of, like, as I mentioned, out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Um, you know, oxygen is what you need. And then underneath that mask, there's not all of oxygen coming in. And man, it was very, very nerve wracking. And what did you think when Jackie O picked you like straight away? You know what it was? It was at one stage, they had no idea. And someone mentioned because of the DJ, the, the five rings, the DJ got to do with, um, I would imagine the Olympics, obviously. But someone said the word tennis. And as soon as someone said the word tennis, it completely changed everything. Yeah. Um, and then they started putting our names and then, and then everything completely changed. And then I knew I was done as soon as they said <laughs> but before that, they had no idea. Well, this is a crazy and brilliant show. Why did you choose yes. this one over all the other celebrity reality TV shows out there? Um, yeah, I, um, you know, there's no secret that I did something uh, a long time ago. Um, no, and, that is uh, not a secret. Was, <laughs> no, and 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 that, that that scarred me for life for anything to do with TV again. I've been asked to do lots of things straight after that, and, and I had zero interest. Um, uh, and um, I think, like I said, I think probably scarred me for other things that might be fun. But this once, um, someone presented it to me, and then doing some research and seeing what it was about, and, and just seeing how cool it was. Um, I, I really wanted to push myself and get out of the, my comfort zone and, and I felt like this was a perfect place to do it because number one, um, who doesn't like to sing? I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, God knows I'm no singer. I do like to sing in, in the car Might and I love you. music. <laughs> and, and so this was a chance where no one could um, judge you straight away before even opening your mouth because of who you are. I got a chance to listen to you and, and, then, mm. and, and it's a great show and a fun show and especially during some tough times, I think it's a perfect time for something like this. Now, Mark, we all know you have to keep it a secret that uh, you are one of these masked singers, but I wanted to know, as soon as they revealed you, knowing that you're a father, did you tell your kids that you were going to be on the show? I didn't say. The only person who knew was my wife, um, and it was important for her to know because a lot of times when I couldn't be home and... Uh, you know, I didn't want to just say I'm going for another meeting. <laughs> it started looking <laughs> sketchy. So uh, um, so she knew, and then we watched it together as a family, and the kids were watching, and it was an awesome show for kids to watch because the costumes are so amazing. Um, and then when I took the mask off, my little one, Maya, who turns two tomorrow, she goes, Daddy! And then my son, Nicholas, who's six, oh. was just looking at me and just looking at me, but then just kind of with awe and it was the most beautiful thing. And then my wife said last night because she was putting to sleep that she goes, mommy, I have the coolest dad in the world. So uh, that thing just uh, melted me. And, and just for that reason alone, I know I made the right decision of doing a show like that. Well, full credit to you and your relationship. So no disrespect, but you know, back in the day, you're a bit of a ladies man. So I want to ask you this question. Is there any chance that you may have dated any of the other mass singers? Because I reckon if you'd heard their voice, you might have an idea. 
I according mean, to would media, there be Delta Goodrum, according could to media, be Paris Hilton. <laughs> I don't know. According to media, you know, I probably dated ninety percent of them. Maybe you know, <laughs> <laughs> ma- ma- male or female, it wouldn't even matter. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you know, oh, do you know, Mark? Brilliant. What I want to ask is that um, we all grow as people. We um, make mistakes. You were a champion on the tennis field, but you had a bit of a rock, uh, a reputation, a rock star reputation off the field, um, off the court, I should say. As I said, sport. Um, do you? What do you think when you look back on that young man? Is there any advice you'd give him? No, because look. It's so easy to look back now after we go through some things and, and look at life differently. But man, I'm a kid knowing nothing about life, trying to live life um, as a human being and as a teenager, number one, or as a young guy, um, let alone when you're in a spotlight or a sport like tennis. And and you know, you're making decisions and, and you mentioned the word wrong, uh, mistakes. I don't think they're mistakes. They're just decisions. As long as you don't hurt anybody, Mm-hmm. which I never did. I made decisions that you uh, during that time you do and that end up becoming a blessing because it makes you grow and become the, the person you are later on in life. And, and I'm in an incredible place in my life and I'm very blessed where I am in my life and with my wife and my kids that are with, who, um, with me and, and, and everyone's healthy. So um, it's just, man, you, you, you're just like everybody else trying to, go my way and, and, and working out who I am as a person and then and then trying to make sense of it all as far as being thrown the spotlight at the same time. Look, uh, it's really well, interesting know. because you have, uh, what I love about you is you've spoken previously about periods where you have been very depressed and reclusive, especially during your financial hardships. Do you think mental health is something we need to address more in sport? Oh, God, not, not just in sport. Um, Full stop. You know, I'm glad I went through all those things. Um, and it was very difficult at the time, of course, um, but it made me the person I am. And, and I'm in a stronger position now as a person, a uh, human being and financially that there ever was. So I'm blessed, you know, because you learn. You learn oh, through yeah. those decisions. And, and and like, as I mentioned, they're not mistakes. But if you do them, if you make the same one again, you know, if you, know, if you fall over, trip yourself over a uh, a branch, you didn't know it was there, it's fine. But if you could do that the second time, it's like, okay, you know, you're an idiot. You knew it was there and it's it's your fault now, you know, so. (laughs) Well, that's the um, difference between us. I've made plenty of mistakes, so. (laughs) Oh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. It's easy to be hard on yourself. But as I mentioned, more importantly, you you don't hurt anyone. That's the most important thing. And, um, yeah, man, you you know, it, 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 it is what it is, you know. Yeah. But, Mark, I always would say the thing that your relatability with the Australian public has always come down to the fact that I think you are quite raw and I think you're quite honest and I think that that has always been the magic. I'm hoping that we get to see more of you. And then last night when they were saying, take it off, take it off, I was hoping that you'd take more off because you're a good-looking person. <laughs> <Man. laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, it was, yeah, like I said, it was sweating, so I'd be glad to do that. But, but again, sorry, going back to the health thing and mentally, um, as you mentioned, with what's going on right now, with, with what we're hearing, especially in Victoria, uh, of, of these numbers of deaths every day you're hearing about is, is, is brutal and heartbreaking. Mm. But you, what you pressed on and you mentioned is something that no one's talking about more in the media is, is what is happening to the people that, that are, are, are being, you know, quarantined in their homes yeah. and, and depression and, and, and you know, uh, you know, as far as, you know, physical violence right now or, or, or um, you know, depression is, is very scary. That's even scarier than, than the COVID-19 numbers and no one's talking about that. But look, mm-hmm. we're in a tough situation right now, um, unprecedented. Like we're all trying to find our way and we're only learning as we go along and, and um, we're just trying to do the best we can, you know, in this situation and then trying to make the best decisions we possibly can for ourselves and our families. Well, mate, you are an impressive bloke and I really appreciate you coming on the show today. You raise a very good point about the mental health struggles of people dealing with COVID-19 and it is a, it is a discussion we need to have more of and resources need to go into that. Mate, thanks on a happier note for being on the Ben Robin Robbo show today. We've really appreciated it. Thank you, guys. I had an amazing time. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs>
It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob.